Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. He met them that day. The daughters of Zelophehad said, who made this law? We will not take it anymore. This misery in your life began in a day. This sickness you are going through now started in a day. This trouble began in one day. This business and financial crisis began in one day. Just began like little thing. The Joshua against your destiny spoke in a day and turned the destiny upside down. But this day, I stand as servant of God. I reverse the law. I repeal the law. And I make a new law tonight. What is deliverance is breaking the laws that are keeping you in one place. Breaking the laws that deny you access to your throne. Breaking the laws that has limited and stagnated you in one spot. Breaking the laws that keep on pulling you back from where you are supposed to be. That is what deliverance is. There is a law. There is a somebody, so something happened, and somebody spoke, and what he said began to operate because nobody has understanding to reverse it, and if you don't, it will keep on going. But somebody has to reverse it. Joshua spoke after destroying Jericho. He said, "No man shall build this." Wall. If any man try it, he will lay the foundation with his first son and set up the gate with his last son. After about 400, over 400 years, a man who didn't know what happened went to rebuild the wall of Jericho. The day he laid the foundation, the son died. The first son. By the time he was finished the wall, the last one died. The Bible says, according to what a man said. You are going to, I'm going to lead you into short prayers tonight. But I want you to be intentional about this prayer. I want you to be intentional. Look into the family and exempt yourself. Papa was here on Tuesday and he said, the father died at 34. The other brother died at 34. And when it was 34 years, death came knocking at the door. He had to fight to be alive. Who, is who spoke? And this law, this collective Poverty is running in the family. Who spoke? Are you aware there are families? There are, are no families, and there are families where you see everyone has gone to school, but nobody is making any effort. Nobody is making progress. I know some families, everyone, almost everyone has traveled abroad, but none has ever made any impact. So it's not abroad. 
is above. It comes from above. And until you get the revelation to revolt, whatever followed you here follows you there. Who spoke? And every first daughter in the family suffers in marriage. Who spoke? Who spoke? Who spoke you into this mess? Who spoke you into this trouble you are in? I met a young lady some years ago. I've told you this story. And a man said to her, if you don't marry me, nobody will marry you. She was 18 until she was 38. It was at the 38th year that I reversed what was spoken before she got married. And they didn't last in that marriage and died. The blessing may have come, but it came very late. I want you to be very, very angry when you begin to pray tonight. I'm going into prayers now. I'm going to declare some things because what I'm here to do tonight is to reverse that which a man spoke. I'm not necessarily binding spirit tonight. I am a spirit living in this body. And you are a spirit. So I want us to connect. I don't care who said it. There are families, they make progress. As soon as they hit 45, every progress collapse. And you are in that family. They only refer to in those good old days. It will not be your portion. Yeah. I have asked members of Voice of Freedom. I said, who told you that a woman cannot build a mansion while she's living in the husband's house? No, tell me. Who made the law? That a woman shouldn't build a house. Now tell me now who made the law. As far as you can remember, no woman from your lineage, from your father or your mother has ever built a house. So you too believe that you cannot. And as long as you accept it, there is nothing you can do about it. Except you rebel against it tonight. You didn't hear what I said. <laughs> Women can have mansions. Still with their husband. With the cooperation of their husband. They can. Listen to me. Everyone from a family. Where people die young. And you are here tonight. If thou can believe, you are exempted from untimely death tonight. You are exempted from untimely death tonight. I write a new law of longevity in your life. Yes, Lord. It doesn't matter the gathering of the witches. Wherever they have gathered, they are gathered because there is a law that established them. But there is a law tonight that will scatter them. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. I'm going to make some decrees before you begin to pray. There is a day. Somebody say a day. Today is fourth. Today is a day. The Bible said he made them that day hewers of wood, drawers of water. He was standing backed by God. He said there should be hewers of wood and drawers of water to the altar. So I'm standing on the altar too. And Joshua was a man. 
I'm also a man. And Joshua was operating by a visiting of the anointing. I am operating by the resident anointing. <laughs> Lift up your hands. That day that has been programmed to change your destiny will not come to pass. Hey, no! That day program to close your marital destiny shall not come to pass. Hey, no! That day program to change and frustrate your financial destiny it shall not come to pass. Hey, no! We had a stood and changed everything about your health destiny. I stand today to cancel it. Yes, Lord. On a day they made enchantment, they made incantation, and they closed your business, they closed your womb. They made a contention. They closed your marital destiny. I stand on the altar. I speak in the language where I came from. Yes, Lord. As I speak, yes. whatever was closed is going to open tonight. Yes. Laboratory Takadia. Yes. Lema Sadaya. Yes. Leka Suda la Kradazete. Ema Kasuda Radeke. Reketula da la Gaza. Yes. Eso Kote ya Katrada. Yes. I agree. That sickness spoke into your system. Ah. I command it out. Thank you, Jesus. that has been programmed for tragedy in 2022 concerning you that they will not come to pass yes 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 yes, yes. I cancel the day of misfortune in your life I cancel the day of untimely death in your life I cancel the day of failure in your life so the day of accident in your life. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. Ela kabaya. Ela katata ta Yes, Lord. Ela brada gada yadaba. Yes, Lord. Makusa kradura kadore kreba. I agree. I agree. That which they did. Yes. An exchange was done. Ah. And exchange your destiny. Ah. I speak now. I agree. I return your destiny. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. The Catholic Keruka Baradagazia. I enter into the spirit. Le belula neke telebrada. Le platu de zada. Yes. That which was spoken in your father's days against his children, uh -huh. and you are a child of your father, yes. and it was spoken on the altar uh -huh. that this man's children will not succeed. Jesus, whatever was your father's offense, Jesus. I do not know, Jesus. but I stand on this altar. Yes. Jesus. I cancel that law in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. A fully in my ear at the end of to fill it. I agree. Whoever is under strange influence, spoken by a man, Jesus. Who had an issue with your parents? Uh -huh. With your mother, with your father. And didn't face them. But transferred the consequence 
Moses to his children. I stand on the word. I stand on the altar. Yes. I speak as God's servant. Whoever you are, whatever is already in oppression tonight, I cancel it if I hear you. Amen. Amen.